Check the description for the following discount codes. Today we're going to have a quick goosey at the CSL low cell kit from Fnatic for their entry level pedals. I know loads of people have been waiting on this. Here's a very quick look at the box because that is of course the least interesting of the whole package. Uh, speaking of the whole package, this is how it comes in the box itself. So, you know, nicely packed as you would expect. We get some instructions, we get some stickers. Again, all the stuff we can get out of the way quickly before we see the pedal itself. We also get the USB cable because I think perhaps they're thinking you might want to use this as a standalone load cell brake pedal, perhaps with other pedals, I don't know, but the option is there because it comes with its own USB cable. And of course, you've already got a USB cable if you have the CSL pedals um, that you're upgrading this on. So, you know, I can't think of any other reason why they'd send you another one because now I've got two, obviously. Uh, and then we've got our RJ12 cable, and this is what will connect the accelerator pedal to this now. Previously, the clutch and the brake pedal plugged into the accelerator, and then an accelerator plugged into either your PC or a Fnatic wheelbase. But it looks like now, yeah, so here's, here's the inside of our accelerator pedal there, and that is previously where you put the brake and clutch labeled accordingly, and then on this side, it goes out to your wheelbase. Now, the way it's gonna work now this is, oh, this is the original pedal, just for comparison. We'll look at the two in a minute. Just got your little piece of rubbery foam in there that, that squishes, you know, uh, as you press that pedal down. And again, these just bolt on with four bolts. So I just, you know, undid those four bolts, whipped this one off, ready. So yeah, the only, the only other thing you get is four more little bolts in this, in this bag and the star key, Allen key type thing to undo it with. So. Pedal itself, let's get this out. Now, this one has obviously come with the original black plastic pedal face on there. I have got the metal upgrade kit here, so I'll be swapping that over as well. We've got, yeah, so on this, we now have, and this, this RJ12 port is labelled load cell, um, which is kind of obvious because this is a load cell pedal. But this goes from here to the outside of your accelerator pedal that is labelled wheelbase or load cell. So we go load cell pedal to accelerator, and then we either go USB or RJ12 to either PC or our wheelbase. This is how this setup now works. Now, someone did ask me in the comments if I could comment on whether this can be fitted to the far left of this pedal assembly if you don't have a clutch, if you just want to have widely spread two pedal operation. And the only reason that I can see you not being able to do that is if the RJ12 cable that comes with it, and we'll undo it and have a look, isn't long enough to reach from the new load cell brake pedal to the accelerator. And I can already say that it's, yeah, I think the answer is yes, it will reach, but it's gonna have to sit underneath here it's not gonna be able to go in the channels around the bottom there if you want it that far across. At least it doesn't look like it is because it isn't particularly long. And obviously they wouldn't give you an excess of cable because it's primarily gonna be fitted you know, in the middle of this position. So they wouldn't give you a huge length. So assuming that they haven't bespoke wired these RJ12 cables, you could just buy a slightly longer RJ12 cable and then you'd be able to route it neatly along just like the clutch pedal is. It's a shame the clutch pedal just doesn't unplug, or you could have used the RJ12 for that, although you may not have a clutch pedal then in actual fact if you're, well, in fact you definitely haven't if you're wanting to space them out and just use two pedals. So the answer is with this, it may just reach, but it's gonna be sat on here, which might get you know pinched up 
if you're bolting this down to something, which you probably are. So you may need to get a longer one if that's what you want to do. So let's have a quick goosey at the pedal itself. We have our load cell at the back here. It's what this sort of square piece of metal is. And you can see where, so where that little black piece is there, that is where the pressure will be applied from your foot. And you can see there's like a U shape cut out. That is the bit that will, on a sort of um, almost atomic level, flex. It's not something you'll ever see, but it will ever so slightly distort. Um, and that is how the load cell registers the pressure that you are putting on the pedal. Uh, and that, of course, goes into the little interface, uh, well, probably load cell amplifier and USB interface and RJ12 interface there as well. So it's very, very simple. And of course, the pedal construction is exactly that, you know, of the original one. Same material, same design, it also all looks nice. It's all gonna fit well, same original plastic pedal face. Nothing new there. What we've got here is a, what they call an elastomer stack. You can have a little close up of that. Now, what do what they rate it to? 65 sure hardness. That might not mean much to, uh, well, to most of us because we probably don't have hardness gauges and have measured loads of different hardnesses to understand what that actually means. But what I'll do once I've tested this for a couple of hours is tell you how hard this feels compared to say the V3s that I've got down there. Now, there is no adjustment here. There's no, you don't get a selection of these that you can swap out, you know, for different hardnesses. You can't tailor it to your liking. Maybe they'll offer a tuning kit at some point, who knows? But out of the box, it literally comes just as you see here. So that is what it is. We have the usual up and down adjustment of the pedal face. And of course this can be slid left to right just like the other pedals can as well. But as far as the load cell operation, or the, the feel, not the load cell operation, but the feel of the pedal goes, there is no out of box adjustment. I mean, let me just give it a little, it already feels, I mean, yeah, it's <laughs> just with my hand, like I'm gonna say it's probably five to 10 times stiffer than what the original brake pedal is. So that's a, that feels good already and we'll see just how it feels underfoot in a little while. Now it is a, so it's a 60 kilogram load cell versus the 90 kilogram one on the V3s. Now all, what we've got to remember here is to manage our expectations because this is an entry level pedal set and not only is it priced entry level compared to the V3s, there has to be some differences in performance, operation, and quality. Otherwise, there would be no point buying the V3s. So these have to be, you know, downscaled sort of across all those metrics that we measure things by. Otherwise, why would you buy the better ones if this performed just the same? So it's 60 kilogram rather than 90, and there's no out of box adjustment or anything like that. It is what it is. But already, I can tell you, it's gonna be a big upgrade over this. This I can quite happily squish, no problems at all. <laughs> and this one, I can barely move. So we're gonna see a big improvement here and it's gonna make modulating the braking so much easier and better. Now, is there anything else to figure out? Oh, I suppose I might as well tell you the prices. So let me just look at my information here. These are gonna launch on Black Friday. Um, yeah, Friday the 26th of November. And there'll be a special Black Friday price, which is gonna be 119.95, this is euros. The regular price will be 139.95. So what's that, 20 euros off. They're also gonna be doing uh, a bundle that's discounted for the CSL pedals plus the load cell for 199.95. Again, euros. So just under 200 euros, 200 euros for the complete kit of, of three, I guess it's with three pedals. Yeah, because the CSL pedals come with two. Anyway, you just move the original brake pedal over and use it as a clutch if you wanted to. So yeah, the CSL pedals and the load cell brake pedal for just shy of 200 euros. Now that puts it similarly priced to the Thrustmaster TLCMs, which of course would be the nearest 
competitor. Uh, and whilst they do have more adjustment on the brake pedal, I personally prefer the look, the feel, and the build quality of these Fnatic pedals because they are all metal, they're not plastic, um, you know, weighted at the front or anything. They literally come as they are all metal construction and I personally prefer the appearance and the feel of them. Um, that will be a little obviously personal. Some of you may prefer the look of the, of the Thrustmasters, but I personally prefer these. Um, but, uh, and again, plastic construction is always not gonna last as long as metal construction. Whether in real terms, that means you might see some wear on the TLCMs, whereas you wouldn't on these, who knows? It might take a decade before the plastic Thrustmaster have used actually starts to wear away and you start getting play in your pedals where things are hinged. We won't know yet. Um, I haven't heard any reports of it happening, but fact remains, metal is always gonna be stronger, more rigid and more hard wearing than a plastic equivalent. So my preference is, is these pedals. As I said, when I reviewed them before, you know, I do prefer these. So enough of the waffle. Um, I think that's probably covered everything we need to know, the price, when it's gonna be available, what's adjustable, what's not, 60 kilogram load cell, the connectivity, how you fit them. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. So I'm gonna go bolt this obviously onto my CSL pedals here, swap the face over for this one, and then spend a couple of hours just trying it out um, and seeing how it feels. As I say, it already feels much better than the original one. Um, and then I'll come back uh, in a little while and tell you exactly what I think of it and how it performed. Well, the difference between this and the original pedal is quite literally night and day. My advice would be just, if you're gonna buy the CSL pedals and your budget allows it, just get the low cell bundle. The, the difference, it doesn't even compare. It really, really doesn't. This pedal feels so much more realistic straight away than what the original pedal does. The distance it travels is far less than what the original pedal does. The force required to push the pedal and achieve 100% braking force is like tenfold what it was before. And it's just so much easier to modulate, you know, your, your braking and, and find those thresholds and, and the point of lock up and, and what have you. I'll, just, I'll roll a quick clip of me using them. Not that you can see from the clip how things feel, but you, you know, people like to see this stuff. So one of the things I do show you though, in the clip is how far the pedal actually travels. Um, if I just unpause it, it would help. So uh, yeah, if you watch me here, look, I'm pumping that well, as far as it will travel. So it doesn't actually move that far, especially then when you see me press the accelerator pedal down beside it. But what I also found, and this surprised me, is that even though it's only a 60 kilogram load cell, that, I, I thought it was gonna to be too easy to reach 100% braking force with only a 60 kilogram load cell, you know, especially coming from my 90 kilogram one on the V3s. But once you go into the Fnatic control panel and you go to the braking force slider, by default, mine was on 30% for some reason, which made it very easy to hit 100% braking force. I, I, without having checked the percentage already, I thought, oh no, this is way too easy. Uh, but then I went to the braking force slider under the tuning options and noticed it was at 30%. Slid that up to 100, and that was actually slightly too much. I had to press the pedal harder than I would have liked with that braking force slider set at 100%. So um, I ended up settling on about 90, 95%, and that was about right for me. I like to be able to have, have to press the pedal pretty heavily to reach 100% braking force. You don't want that to be too easy or you'll end up locking up your wheels far easier, you know, in your sim than what you'd than what you'd like to be able to. Now obviously there's a little bit of personal preference here. Some people may, lo may like a lighter pedal, others may prefer a heavier pedal. As far as the physical feel, the weight of the pedal, how hard it is to press, I'm gonna say it's comparable to my V3 brake pedal 
with the sort of stiffness or firmness turned up to maybe maybe 85, 90%, something like that, which is actually roughly where I run it. So for me, I could actually use this brake pedal and be just as comfortable with it as what I would be with my V3 brake pedal, which surprised me, um, and surprised me in a good way. Now, some people don't find the V3s hard enough, heavy enough, um, in which case, obviously, you're going to find this exactly the same. If you're one of those people, you want to be looking at a different pedal set anyway. But for those of us that are happy with the weight of the V3s, how hard that brake pedal is to press, I think you'll be surprised how usable this is um, and how you, you don't want for more. Again, for people that like a really heavy pedal, no, this isn't a really heavy pedal. But for me... It's more than heavy enough. And like I say, I had to run it about 90, 95% braking force. 100 was too much. I was really, really pushing my leg hard to, to hit that. So I think, you know, just, just in summary, the pedal is as good a quality as all the other pedals, you know, that come with the CSL pedals, um, the all metal construction. I think they've got the stiffness of the pedal just right. It's, it's not too soft, it's not too heavy. If you're aiming to please kind of everybody because there is no adjustability, then I think they've got a nice sweet spot there. Uh, and even the 60 kilogram low cell itself that I thought initially might be a bit limiting, um, turns out it isn't. And apparently I don't apply more than 60 kilograms of force when I break anyway, um, which, which did surprise me. So it's a wholehearted recommendation. Uh, as I say, Black Friday deals, just shy of 200 euros for the complete set. That's probably the best way to go if you've been holding off buying these CSL pedals. And if you haven't and you've already got the CSL pedals, then what is it, 120 euros, I think I said it was, for just a pedal on its own. Again, if you've only paid, what is it, 70 or 80 euros for your initial pair of pedals, something like that, isn't it? Then you're getting the whole thing for around about 200 euros, give or take. And I think for a entry level set of low cell pedals, I don't think you can really go wrong. Yes, obviously the clutch is single stage and linear. There's no fancy you know, workings going on there. And it's quite light. And the accelerator pedal is also relatively light and there's no fanciness to it. But they look nice, subjective to my opinion. They feel nice, especially with the metal faces. Um, plastic ones are okay, but metal ones look and feel better. But the low cell brake, that is a night and day difference and upgrade. And if you've got these pedals, I really, really, really recommend getting the low cell pedal upgrade. It will improve your sim racing experience, just like any low cell pedal upgrade does. Not just Fnatic, it doesn't matter what you buy. If you go low cell, whether it's the Thrustmasters, it's always a better experience. And usually, if you're halfway competent, it helps improve your lap times a little bit as well. So that's my review with the Fnatic CSL low cell pedal kit upgrade. As always, link in the description. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy. Oh, just one more thing. Uh, the guy that asked me whether the cable would reach to put the brake far to the left, I didn't think it would earlier in the video, but yes, it turns out it does actually reach, so you wouldn't need to buy a longer RJ12 cable. You can have them spaced widely and it will reach. But yes, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.